what's going on guys welcome back to the channel my name is Dwayne and this is the 411 in today's video I'll be giving you the 411 on Vu Patisserie by Paris Corner okay this is a Middle Eastern fragrance and it's supposed to be a inspiration or clone of Georgias Italica now Georgias Italica is a very expensive niche fragrance when we talk about niche fragrances niche fragrances are simply fragrances that are produced by independent fragrance houses uh, they produce smaller quantities and batches of their fragrance and they're normally sold in specialty boutiques and sometimes online retailers all right so uh, just to give you a quick update, uh, Jerzov's Italica, which is uh, this is going to be a clone or inspiration of, the 100ml retails for about $390 Canadian. The 30ml retails for about $150 Canadian. So again, we're talking big money here, all right? Uh, and this fragrance here is a fragrance that costs about $50 Canadian. So as you see, it's a fraction of the price, but uh, they do say this smells identical to Jerzhoff's Italica. Now, unfortunately, I don't have Jerzhoff's Italica. I don't plan on getting it because that is ridiculous for those fragrances. But again, by all means, if you could afford it, definitely get it. But for now, we are rocking out with Vu Patisserie by Paris Corner. Again, this is a Middle Eastern fragrance, uh, but it is kind of cloning a well-known niche fragrance, okay? So to start off, uh, the fragrance itself, I did give it a quick run. Um, I just did the unboxing, so I'll show you guys the unboxing from what I did earlier today. And uh, let's jump right into the fragrance. I showed you guys the unboxing so you know what the box looks like. Nothing special. Um, the bottle itself is very simple. All right, you got Paris Corner on the cap, or I should say the atomizer there. And the cap itself is a decent type of um, cap. It's, it's heavy, has some weight to it. So I do want to say, if you are a fan of Middle Eastern fragrances, definitely hit the subscribe button. Uh, I do have more videos coming with more Middle Eastern fragrances. So let's jump right into this. Again, Vu Patisserie by Paris Corner it's from the Amer series. So let's go ahead and get this fragrance in the air. Show you guys the atomizer. Pretty decent. Distribution is good. So the fragrance itself is very um, loud. It's very pronounced. Okay, uh, let's just get that off the rip. It's very loud, very pronounced, but it does smell really good. Um, if you're into gourmand fragrances, uh, gourmand fragrances would be anything that smells edible. Uh, in this case, like pastry or dessert, you're going to be a really big fan of this one. Okay, so aside from the price point, you're getting very good performance and projection. All right, so let's go ahead and get this on skin. I'll let you guys know what I think about the fragrance as far as my first impression. That smells really good, guys. That smells really good. So uh, there is a slight bit of uh, synthetic kind of chemically opening, but that's perfectly fine because it does go away pretty quickly. One thing I noticed from spraying this in air versus on skin, there's a slight bit of like a citrus sweet orange type of note to this, which is really good. You get the almond note right off the bat. The almond does last the life of the fragrance from what I've tested so far for the past couple hours. And also some sweet fruits, like some sweet red fruits, maybe uh, some red berries or something like that. But it is standing out. It opens up very sweet. There's also a slight bit of uh, spiciness to it not overly spicy but a slight bit of spiciness to add with the sweetness that you're getting this pretty much smells like you're in a bakery and there's freshly baked cookies freshly baked pastries uh, like an almond type of croissant type of vibe that's kind of what i get with this fragrance 
You get some vanillas in there as well. Um, it kind of smells like um, baked cookies as well, like chocolate chip cookies. You do get like a hazelnut, slightly chocolatey type of facet, almost like Nutella in a sense, but that is more so underneath the almond and uh, underneath the sweetness that you get from the kind of orange, sweet orange facets, sweet fruit facets, as I mentioned to you before. Overall, this is gonna be a crowd-pleasing fragrance. Now, for the few hours that I did have it, I did wear it around my fiance. Didn't tell her what I was wearing, I just sprayed it on, went around her. And she told me I smelled good and she was asking what it was, but I told her she has to wait till the video drops and she could see what fragrance I'm wearing. So hopefully she's watching. Let's go ahead and check out the notes on this fragrance. Uh, by the way, this was released in 2024, so it is a release from earlier this year. Uh, top notes are cardamom, saffron, and tangerine. I guess that's the orange note that I received. Uh, in the base, there's apple rose, which I guess apple's kind of sweet. You don't get any rose. And in the base, there's vanilla and sandalwood. Now, the notes I read to you, there is a bit of uh, toss-up or a bit of... Um, disagreement in the fragrance community because when the notes first came out for this it was very similar to what Zerjoff Italica had uh, afterwards they did switch up the notes and I think that was done because they probably don't want to get sued because um, you know cloning and copying is a big thing and I think that's the main reason why that was changed now let's jump to the Zerjoff Italica uh, fragrance on Fragranica and let's see what they have and I'll let you know if that matches up with what I smell okay so for Zerzoff Italica, they have almond, milk, saffron. So again, the spiciness is there, almond for sure. It is lactonic, you do get a milky feel to it. But again, that orange, that sweet fruit orange thing is still standing out for me. Kind of like orange blossom. Uh, toffee and bourbon vanilla. So again, you do get the sweetness. The toffee... So as far as the toffee, I'm not quite sure if I get toffee because... Maybe it's a different type of toffee. I do have Stronger With You Intensely, and that one has a strong toffee note. That one jumps out, and it's obviously toffee. This one, maybe it's a bit underneath that. Slightly spicy as well, that could be coming from the saffron. And let's jump to the base. In the base, we have sandalwood and musk. So again, the Zerzhoff Italica fragrance list matches more of what we see here in Vu Patisserie from Paris Corner. But yeah, from what you get on the Zerzhoff Italica fragrance notes, it kind of matches what I'm smelling on skin. Except we do need to find out where the sweet fruits are coming from because this one doesn't mention any fruits. As far as longevity, I don't have that for you right now, but what I could tell you is when I did try it out a couple hours ago, it stayed pretty prominent on my skin. So what I may have to do is I may have to come back and give you guys a follow-up video to let you know how long this thing lasts, if the performance changes at all, if it macerates, if there's any different notes that I get. But so far guys, this one is one I'm gonna be enjoying and wearing majority of the fall and winter. Now I do wanna say one thing. If you have Latafa Nebras, uh, you may not need to get this one. A Tafa Nebras is more of that um, cookie dough, uh, sweet, uh, orange type of fragrance. You don't get really any almond in that one, but again, if you're an almond fan and you have Nebras and you want more almond, uh, you could definitely go for this one. Sweet, delicious, delectable. Um, great for date night, great for chilling with the boyfriend or girlfriend because this is definitely a unisex fragrance. I believe it's actually more marketed to women and when you take a look at the bottle itself, especially with like the velour or suede texture on that bottle, it does kind of lean more feminine and I believe even with um, Zerzoff Italica, if you go online, um, you're going to see that it says it's more of a feminine fragrance but again, you will see a lot of men rocking Zerzoff Italica. I haven't really seen any men do a review of Vu Patisserie, so it might be the first one. Um, if you've made one before and haven't seen the video, I apologize. So hopefully this one is entertaining or beneficial for you guys out there, also for you women out there as well. Uh, it is a fragrance that you can rock, fellas. Um, I rock gourmand fragrances. I rock fresh fragrances. I rock spicy fragrances. And this one isn't far from my wheelhouse. Now, will my fiance want to wear this one as well? Probably. Uh, we could both pretty much wear this one together. But uh, yeah, I think she's going to be presently surprised with this one. She liked the fragrance already, got me a compliment already. So again, this one is definitely going to be worn a lot. We have a date night coming up and I think this one might be 
be the one that I draw for, just kind of see if it pulls your attention again, all right? So guys, that's gonna be it. I don't wanna take up too much more of your time. I do wanna say if you're a fan of gourmand fragrances, if you're into the hazelnut, almond, sweet, dessert type of fragrance, this would be one up your alley. As far as rating, uh, I'm gonna rate this one a nine out of 10. I'm really enjoying it. I gotta see how the longevity really does. Uh, I'll give it a lot more words and bring you guys another follow-up video, but for $50, you can't really go wrong. I got this one from Frag Bar. Uh, they are located here in Toronto, or I should say Mississauga. Uh, they carry a lot of uh, Middle Eastern fragrances. So if you're in the area, definitely check them out. I don't have any affiliation with them, but uh, I do really like people that work there and they provide you a good uh, array of Middle Eastern fragrances, all right? So that's gonna be it. Um, Vu Patisserie gets a nine out of 10 for me. Definitely one I'm gonna be rocking a lot. I do wanna say also, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel and you like today's content, definitely drop me a like and a subscription if you're not yet done so. To all my fragrance family that have subscribed, thank you for your support. We do appreciate it and stay tuned for more videos, okay? You know what we do here. You know how we close out. Hope you guys are staying safe, staying blessed, and smelling good. See you guys in the next one. Peace.